Alola everyone, my name is Jake Peter, and today we are 7 days until the Pokemon Sun Moon demo. Today, we're going to make this a little more of a kickback and explain my thoughts on the final evolutions of the starter Pokemon, and which will be the most powerful in the metagame as well as in-game itself. So, really, should you start with Rowlet, Litten, or Populio? In the end, you are going to come up with Decidueye, Incineroar, and Primarina. But really, if you're playing the game, which one is going to be the most powerful for you? Now, in the past, we've had each of their Pokemon typings, with Trevenant being another grass ghost, which, according to Smogin, was not used. It, it just it just sucked. It wasn't that great. But the base stats of that Pokemon were 474, so it's not it wasn't the best. But when we talk about our Pokemon here, they are actually having great stats overall. The average stat for a Pokemon is 485, and the average stats for a starter Pokemon are 530. So we already have a great advantage there. And to give it a little more solid ground off of that, Garchomp has 600. The legendaries typically get about 680. Talonflame, you know, a glass cannon, but can hurt like a truck, 499. And Gyarados actually has 540 base stats, if you didn't know that. Um, with Incineroar, we've seen Houndoom in the past, who was rarely used according to Smogin, and they had a base stat of 500. And then Azumarill is actually a mirror of Primarina being a Water Fairy, who is OU, although only having base stats of 410. So we kind of can't really, you know, give stats everything to the Pokemon, but it definitely does help overall increase bulk or increase the amount of attack that they're going to be able to deal against the enemy. There's just many, many things to talk about here. But in the Alolan Pokédex, or at least of purely Alolan Pokémon that have been revealed, we're going to have Decidueye be weak to 16 Pokémon through that in the net gameplay you have. And Incineroar will be 22. Yeah, Incineroar is going to have a good chunk of Pokemon that is actually weak to inside the normal gameplay. And then Primarina will have about 17 that it's weak to. So Decidueye and Primarina are very close on that. But if we go into how much calculation goes into it, like not very effective, super effective, neutral, immune... Decidueye actually is the most disadvantageous at this point, having 19. Uh, you want the lowest number possible, because you know immune being zero. Kind of like playing golf here. Incineroar has 18, and Primarina has 17. Now, we've already seen Water Fairy type be great with Azumarill, even with that low stats. But Azumarill is kind of more of a glass cannon, you had to use Belly Drum and huge power that got it way up there, but it's not weak to much, and it's going to have a good chunk of Pokemon that it can actually deal damage to with fairy typing. You know, it's going to be great for taking out those dragons late game. You know, everyone loves their dragons. Uh, having a ghost type with Decidueye is interesting. Uh, again, with Trevenant, I just don't think we're going to see much use and the same thing with Incineroar. I just don't think we're going to see much use of Incineroar past, you know, the actual gameplay that we have inside our own games. Now, people can, you know, have fun with all these Pokemon. We've definitely seen some starter Pokemon in the past come up to be great use. Like, you know, Charizard is pretty great. Venusaur is really good. Meganium, if you wanted, like, a bulkier set. More specifically, Bayleaf with an Evilite, though. There's just so many things we can go off of here with all of this. But, you know, maybe they're going to have some great signature moves that are going to make the gameplay great. We've already seen them. Primarina isn't really that great, you know, just removing burn. We have Decidueye with keeping the Pokemon inside the battlefield. Within Cinnaroar, though, kind of another story having the ability to... <laughs> Incineroar, though, on the other hand, is kind of a little bit different with its signature move. It has the ability to ignore stat changes. So, you know, if they have a curse set and you want to try and dodge that, that's usually going to be like a more bulky Pokemon. 
that is going to be super effective by Incineroar's moves. So it's still, you know, kind of in its special area where I can only deal so much, but it's going to maybe be picked up. I can see him being used just because of the pure fact he is also not firefighting, which thank you, Pokemon, for doing this for us. You know, it was a good fan service. You know, kind of just giving us all the different weird typings to kind of a fan service, you know, not giving us what we'd had in the past and just regurgitating everything. In the end, I will say I do believe Primarina will be the most prime Pokemon to be playing with in the overall end game, and I don't really give the other two that much of a chance. Although I do love the grass starters, Decidueye and Rowlet will always have a place in my heart as well as Dartrix, but they are going to be always fond in my heart, but I will have to give this hands down to Populio and Primarina as the ones to go if you want to have the most super effective Pokemon for the metagame. So that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed this speculation on our starter Pokemon, please feel free to give us a ginormous thumbs up. If you have not subscribed and this video was some great information for you, please do so now so that you can see all of our future speculation and stuff. And tomorrow's video is actually going to be all about Battle Royale and how I think that will be a fun game. It'll be a little more speculation. But until then, Alola.